Emily Carr's The House of All Sorts, Chapter 11, Direct Action. Our district was much too genteel to settle disagreements by black eye or vituperation. Troubles were rushed upstairs to the landlady. I wished my tenants would emulate my gas stove. In proud metallic lettering, she proclaimed herself direct action and lived up to it. How bothersome it was having Mrs. Lemoyne mince up my stair to inform on Mrs. Fitzjohn, having to run down the long stair round the house and carry the complaint to Mrs. Fitzjohn, take the retort back to Mrs. Lemoyne and return the ultimatum, upping and downing until I was tired. Then, often, to find that there was no trouble between the two ladies at all, the whole affair was a mix-up, a fix-up, to convey some veiled complaint against my house or against me, to have the complainer send a sweet message to the complained of, Don't give the matter another thought, my dear. It's really all of no consequence at all and from my window to see the ladies smiling, whispering, nodding in the direction of my flat. I would have liked better an honest pig sow who projected her great grunt from the depths of her pen right into one's face. My sisters, who lived round the corner from the house of all sorts, watched my landladying with disapproval, always siding with the tenant and considering my grunt Sim my grunt similes, most unrefined, but they did not have to be landladies. <laughs>